the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education has issued a stern warning to school authorities, cautioning them against pressuring parents and guardians to pay school fees exclusively in foreign currency, as well as compelling them to purchase uniforms and stationery from specific retailers. The Ministry's directive, issued prior to the reopening of schools, granted parents the freedom to choose where they buy uniforms. Moreover, schools were instructed to accept tuition fees in all currencies, aligning with the country's multi-currency policy. The ministry expressed concern over various irregularities observed in schools, including the withholding of public examination results as a means to force fee payment, a clear violation of children's rights. In an official statement, the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education highlighted the disregard for approved governance procedures by certain schools. Common violations outlined by the ministry included defying the government's directive to charge only approved school fees and levies, imposing fees and levies exclusively in foreign currency typically United States dollars, coercing parents into purchasing school uniforms and stationery solely from the schools themselves, and withholding results for grade 7, O-level, and A-level candidates. The ministry reminded all schools that they are bound by the proper procedures for adjusting school fees. As outlined in Secretary's Circular No. 1 of 2023, any proposed fee increases should result from discussions and engagements with parents and guardians, adhering to the ministry's guidelines. According to the ministry's statement, the permanent secretary will not approve any fee or levy increases for the upcoming term unless they are justified by a basis other than the consumer price index. Furthermore, any proposed fee or levy increase must be approved by a majority of parents in a meeting. Once approved, a copy of the approval letter must be displayed on the school's public notice board for easy reference by all parents and guardians. The ministry emphasized that schools should not exclusively demand payment in foreign currency, as Secretary's Circular No. 10 of 2022 allows for payments in the local currency. While fees can be pegged in foreign currency for the purpose of preserving value, parents and guardians must be given the option to pay in local currency at the prevailing interbank rate on the day of the transaction. In addition, the ministry warns schools against making it mandatory for parents to purchase uniforms and stationery exclusively from the schools themselves. This directive aligns with the ministry's efforts to ensure fairness and affordability for parents. The ministry emphasized that schools should not exclusively demand payment in foreign currency, as Secretary's Circular No. 10 of 2022 allows for payments in the local currency. While fees can be pegged in foreign currency for the purpose of preserving value, parents and guardians must be given the option to pay in local currency at the prevailing interbank rate on the day of the transaction. In addition, the ministry warns schools against making it mandatory for parents to purchase uniforms and stationery exclusively from the schools themselves. This directive aligns with the ministry's efforts to ensure fairness and affordability for parents.